What you see is not a coral reef. Jacques-Yves Cousteau created this and he never removed it. Chabrumi, Sudan, where in 1963, five members of the Calypso crew were living under the sea for four weeks. Corals and algae cover this last remnant of a fascinating experiment. It's pretty difficult to find spots of the original protective color, which is yellow. Hard and soft corals and contributing fish rededicated human work into teeming nature. After so many years underwater, the garage has become a coral pillar of its own. But the unique structure of this building will outlast in future. The garage is set on a massive tripod where huge branches of soft corals filter incoming currents. The area between these stilts has become a huge swim through where thousands of young fish try to hide. No surprise, predators also moved into neighborhood. Four lionfish declared this zone as their very own hunting grounds. Unlike years ago, this predatory fish is now more frequent in Sudanese waters. The big shoals of small fish constantly migrate between the garage exterior and its scarcely overgrown interior where all the scuttle's glasses have disappeared in the meantime. All exhaled air collects between the garage roof and the scuttle's upper rims, creating a huge bubble of air big enough to dare a careful look around. Algae belong to the first settlers who colonize a wreck like this. providing a rich pasture for reef residents like surgeon fish or tiny wrasses. They are practically everywhere. This small reef guard is a freckled hawkfish. Easy to find, but difficult to videotape. Just a few meters away, another but smaller remnant of Précontinent II, nowadays coronated by an enormous table coral. This has been formerly used as a garage for underwater scooters. Almost right in front, many anemones have found their space to live. When observing these resident clownfish, divers may recall incidentally that also Précontinent II once was fully yellow-colored. <laughs> <laughs> 